One, two, three, four. A limited. I'm a professional wrestler. I'm a, uh, I'm a dork. Four unique men. I was really surprised because they're all so different. One effect on her. And I just felt a little naughty with these guys. I have to give you credit. You did get her alone, but it wasn't for long. I've messed up. Each has his own strategy. It was really nice. He kisses really good. But scare tactics? You just made the biggest mistake of your life. I think I should probably go get in my car and go home now. It all starts now. A limited. One, two, three, four. A limited. <laughs> My name is Shonda, and I'm an archaeologist. You guys love the fact that I'm like a female Indiana Jones because I'm not afraid to get down in the dirt. I'm looking for a guy who takes interest in what I do, someone who's smart, who's cultured, who's traveled like I have. I love to be treated like a lady, even though I love to play in the dirt and just be one of the guys. So if any of these guys have bad manners, then I'm cutting them at first. A limited. <laughs> This first round, we're going to Hula Hut to get some margaritas, just to kind of get to know the guys and um, just kind of see how crazy they are. I want to buy what I want, live where I want, and do what I want, and that's why I want to make a lot of money. My name is David, and I'm a business major at UT. Hi. How you doing? Good. My name's David. Hey. Nice to meet you. David. She has beautiful eyes, and she had really good body, and really well put together. I don't think girls that, uh, that like the whole chalk thing usually are attracted to a guy with arms that are thinner than theirs, but um, if you like little, then that's, I think that's you know where, I, where I've got that area cornered. My name's Ryan. I'm a, uh, I'm a dork. Hi. Hi. I'm Shonda. My name's Ryan. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Nice to meet you, Ryan. He seemed to be like slouching a little bit when he first walked up, and I want somebody who looks like he's a sure of himself. I get paid to party. I get paid to meet everyone that comes out, and it's like being the mayor of my own little town. My name is Kevin, and I manage one of the oldest bars in Austin, the Daiquiri Factory. Hi, Hi. I'm Shonda. I'm Kevin. It's nice to meet you, nice Kevin. To meet you. Her body was good. She had gorgeous lips. Her <laughs> her ass, legs, everything. Awesome. Best part about my business is I get to be a comic book character. I get to go out and kick somebody's butt, and everybody loves me for it. What's up? My name is Lance, and I'm a professional wrestler. Hi. Hi. I'm Shonda. I'm Lance. Nice, nice to, to meet you, Lance. After I met all the guys, we took a walk inside and went to the back bar of Hula Hut and just had some drinks. I was really surprised by what they do because they're all so different. I'm a professional wrestler, so. Professional wrestler, yeah. really? Here on the internet right here in Texas. Wow, what do you yeah. guys think about that? Professional wrestler? Professional wrestler. Where at? Uh, you want to go up to Dallas, you can actually see me on television. So some low rent sh uh, Nothing low rent about it, brother. Nothing. Nothing. How are you professional in something that's not real? I mean, it's all fake, right? You want me to show you how not real it is? I can. Is that why, when you bumped into me, I felt arm stubble. Do you shave your arms? Yes, for, I do. Can, oh, is that so they don't I'm grab your arm and like... That's it, yeah, you know, just in case. I think I might be bleeding still. Uh, I'm not sure how long it takes me to grow an arm stubble like that, but it was pretty pointy. Ryan goofing on my arms, he needs to get a pair and then he can talk. So uh, what about you? What do you like to do? I'm the manager of Daiquiri yeah. Factory. Are you? Uh-huh. And uh, I still go full-time soon at Southwest. OK. What uh, about I'm oh, sorry, I didn't mean to no. cut you off if you weren't done. Um, have you ever had a Flaming Dr. Pepper? I have, I have. It's been a while. Those are good though. You you want guys, one? I would love one. You want one. I would love one. Being the manager of a bar, I found that doing Flaming Dr. Peppers is a good icebreaker since no one can do them as long as I can. You guys cool here? I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm, uh, don't mind leaving. Stay away. I just thought that it was a little silly that he did that because he had to leave the group and he, and you know, I was expecting him to pull me with him, but he didn't. He just kind of left me there. I'm getting my master's in accounting right now. So. Great. That's awesome. That's what I'm doing right now. Very cool. And what about you? What do you like to do? Uh, you know, What's your story? <laughs> Uh, you know, actually, I'm a professional bodybuilder. I, uh, you know, I, I lift stuff for a living, and then I coach high school PE. Really? On the side. Wow! Yeah, that's, that's wow! Right. We hey, just got off high school. Yeah, no need. That's right. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. It's, yeah. I mean, I, I don't, I don't like drugs. You know, it, it's, it's, I, it, it, you get more natural form. You know. Ryan said he was a professional bodybuilder. What circuit is he on? Is he on the Papa Smurf circuit? I was gonna say, tell me what you think about all these guys. You know, well, I, I what they're it, saying about your uh, profession. I think, it's, I think it's funny that what I do is more popular than both of what these guys do. You know? Hey, I mean, at least he can do something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get a college awesome. degree and I'll walk out wow. making 65 grand. That's so, awesome. So do I have my college degree, brother. Okay, David wants to brag about when he graduates, he's gonna make 65 grand a year. Well, if I make it professional wrestling, I'm gonna be a lot more than that. It's like, yeah, when I grow up, I'm gonna buy myself a Toyota. Sorry to interrupt. What are you, you guys doing back move? Oh my god. Don't swallow the flame. Shut 
shot because he lit the whole bonfire and he couldn't blow it up. Yeah, and he caught his fingers on fire. I, I felt for him. You know, most people, when you're on fire, are more worried about putting themselves out rather than the bar. But, you know, if he's in the pain or if he's done it so many times that he can't feel his own hand, you know, that's, that's, you know, that's more power to him. Well, um, I think we're going to go have some food right now. Are you all getting hungry at all? Yeah, definitely. That sounds great. So, let's go uh, come over here and eat. See y'all, you know, you're picking on him a lot, is that, you know, any, any special reason why you're picking on him so much? I mean... Normally I pick on myself, actually, but I feel like if I did that, then I'd probably just, you know, end up holding up in a little ball and just, you know, <laughs> it's not so good. I, and I can't, I can't even bench press my own IQ, which I'm not sure if that says I'm weak or I'm smart, but something tells me you can probably, you can probably handle that, so. Best quality, seriously, what's your, what's your best? My best, best quality. Best or best feature? My best feature. Best feature can, I, can I go with favorite rather than best? Because other people may not like this Favorite much. is fine, favorite I, is fine. I like my sense of humor, but yeah, yeah. a lot of people don't, so it's, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, I'm not usually, well, maybe I am usually this mean, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to say, but, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, it's, um, it, it, it's probably my sense of humor. What, what, what do y'all think is your best quality? <laughs> my, and best your worst... my best quality would be like my spontaneity. Spontaneity. Okay. It's vocabulary. The vocabulary is even better. Yeah, the vocabulary is even better. Yeah, that's nice. But <laughs> spontaneity just yeah. because I'm spur of the moment. I like to have fun, party. And so it's just all about doing stuff on the random. Um, you know, his vocabulary seems like he's really got a lot going for him. What about you? Uh, if we're going on a physical sense, I, I pretty much, I like my hair. I like to take care of my hair. Okay. I think. It's a good quality, I think. You know. and, and if you get like a motorcycle, you could do a 1997 like Renegade show, you know, where you're like saving girls and being all big. And Lorenzo Lamas, been there told you go, that there one you go. Before, right. You're a shoe quiet over there. I'm just laughing, everyone's making an ass of themselves, so I think it's funny. And I didn't think it was that funny, so the shrimp are really good here, so I figured, hey, I'd indulge in some shrimp and just let them rip on each other, and I didn't think I was losing anything by getting a bite to eat. David, you need to get the shrimp out of your mouth and worry about the girl we're on the date with, okay, brother? Basically, I think one of my best qualities is the fact that, and this is something that I don't think a lot of people realize, because of the image they carry, because that I am a professional wrestler, is I have a very sensitive side. I like to write poetry, I like to write stories, and things like that, so. I wanna hear a poem. You wanna hear a poem? I wanna hear a poem. Yeah, you, tell me a poem. Okay, uh, this is a poem, uh, it's, uh, it's called I See an Angel. It says, I see an angel sitting next to me with a smile so bright it intimidates me. And I see an angel with, an, with eyes so deep. They're so deep they rival the deepest of seas. It wasn't contrived at all, no really. And I see an angel. Her face is so beautiful, we cannot compare. A face so beautiful, it causes even the blind to stare. That's great, but in college, I think they teach you not to rhyme your poems. And I see an angel with a strength that sets her free. But I see an angel, but does my angel see me? That's really nice. That's really nice. I, I don't think the angels were seeing him, and yeah, it's just a little bit rough. No, really, it was, it was nice, it was nice. Coming up, who will Shonda cut first? Shonda should get rid of Ryan. Too skinny, not funny, no personality. I'm, I'm sure I should put a couple of X's on, on my face, but uh, you know, I, I, I really don't know. I just like the little red X's, and if they could go bing, 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 bing. Lance is gonna get cut this round because it's just a tool. I think Shonda should eliminate David so he can go stuff his face at home. Eliminate bing. <laughs> Who do you think Shonda will eliminate first? Kevin, Ryan, David, or Lance? Okay, guys, I had a really good time at Hula Hut. I'm really glad we got to go sit and talk and get some drinks, but uh, got to cut one of y'all. So it's going to be David. I'm sorry. You're so cute, and I really enjoyed you, and we had a really good time. We hit it off at first, but as soon as we sat down, it just seemed like you're a little more interested in that shrimp than you were in me. So, um, That's cool. I gotta cut you, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, I hope you have a good time. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, I guess I was a little bit surprised, but it's not a, it's not a huge loss, I guess. There are 50,000 women at the University of Texas, and I'm not too worried about it. He was definitely a very look, good looking guy, but looks can really only carry you so far. If the personality's not there, then it's just not gonna happen. Hey, David, you seem like a nice guy, but maybe next time you should eat before you come on the date. Hey, you know, I was hungry, and they were really good, so I think I got the better end of the deal. Let's go ahead and get in and start this second round. Thank you. The next round, I hired a truck limousine to take us to Dallas Nightclub because I want to see if these guys are true Texans and if they like to do what I like to do and just go out there and dance and have a good time. Y'all know how to two-step? 
Yeah, I've done it. it. I guarantee you I'm the best big man you've ever seen dancing. Okay, so along the lines of the whole big man, they say that everything's bigger and better in Texas. Okay. How are y'all bigger and better than these other two guys? Sorry. Shock me. Shock you, okay. Um, basically, and this probably will scare you, and if it does, I'm sorry, but uh, if you haven't noticed, what I'm into is bringing um, it down. I carry a whip for a keychain. Interesting. Well, give me a little whip. Give you I a whip. I want to. I want to see this. Give you a see. little whip. That's it. I mean, show Nothing. me. Show me your technique. I gotta see. That. <laughs> okay. I've never had a guy whip me or even show me a whip, and so I was definitely a little surprised to uh, see him carrying that thing around. <laughs> Where do you want to whip me? Okay, uh, Kevin, you're probably you gonna like me. this. Oh my God. <laughs> I have <some> <laughs> Now that's interesting. Now that's quite a win. You got that. She seemed to enjoy it herself, and I know I did. It felt a little submissive to be whipped by Lance, and I mean, that's not really something I'm into. This is what I would do. All right, if we're in a bar. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> Wash the pumps. All right. I start with the, the hands first, do uh -huh. a little massage. I like giving massages more than I like taking them. Really? So I always, like with all the girls, I always give them a massage. All the girls. All the girls. All the girls. That's why he's cultured. All the girls. That's right. Hey, you know, says something about experience. Something you wouldn't know about. Oh, <laughs> oh. As cheesy as massage may seem to Ryan, I found that girls do love a good massage. And then if we had more time, not in uh -huh. this little tight space, or bring you back. Okay. The, the look you're giving okay. Natalie, I'm I can handle this. The, the look you're giving him behind her that she can't see right It's because I'm flashing. Uh, I'm trying to find the whip, that's why. Yeah, yeah. Kevin's originality with the uh, the incredibly out of nowhere hand rub, then the back, and then the kiss. But I, I think the best part of it was when he looked and turned and looked at Lance and did the little. That was nice. Oh, and then there's more later. That's okay. so sweet. Okay. Well, I guess it's kind of hard to follow a spanking with a whip, but you know, go for the old faithful, and that's what Kevin did with the old back rub. Classy, brother. Show me how you would impress me. I'm thinking. Right now. Right, right here, yeah, right now. You want to impress me right now. What are you going to do? They can't fix your credit or do your taxes for you, so I really don't know what I can do right now. That's Dude. right. <laughs> well, you uh, can be witty. That's great. That's, you know? that's there about you go. the best I can do. I thought there would be some way, something creative that he could come up with to show me, and I was really disappointed that he didn't even try. When we got to Dallas Nightclub, it was really fun to see all those guys out on that floor. I don't think any of us really knew what we were doing. Ryan got out there with Sean and started dancing. It looked like he was stomping roaches. Yeah, I think the whole dancing thing was an absolute mess. Well, I've never been shot, but I'd imagine that's about how I'd move around. Like I told her, I thought I could two-step and decided I'd go show Ryan up. I was stomping more roaches than he was. Yeah, for Lance to go from being, you know, the big two-stepper with just kind of doing the picking her up and spinning around thing that you would if you're a dad with your daughter, that kind of seemed a little bit off. In the limo, I really couldn't tell Shonda how I felt about her, so that's why I pulled her to the side. Even for that one minute, I got a chance to express my views and how I felt about her. I am nice, sincere, genuine. I don't know what you're looking for. If you want to have fun, we'll have fun. Just right now, I'm just having fun right now. Somebody who uh, treat me like a lady, knows how to treat a girl. Definitely, I can do that. Kevin, man, I have to give you credit. You did get her alone, but it wasn't for long. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what we doing. Who will Shonda cut next? Shonda, she get rid of Ryan because he's all talk, no play. Ryan, I like your brother, but unfortunately, I think you got to go. Yeah, you know, I, I think I should probably go get in my car and go home now. I, uh, I don't think I'm going to be making it to the next round. Eliminate. <laughs> Who is Shonda going to eliminate next? Ryan, Kevin, or Lance? Guys, into the second round. Glad I got to see y'all country dance, line dance. It was fun. But uh, here we go again. And this part really sucks, but... Uh, it's gonna be you, Kevin. I'm sorry. Yeah. I really had a good time. You're a really, really good looking guy, but I just felt like I got to know these guys a lot more than I got to know you. Yeah, she got to know the other two guys. That's fine, but I'm not gonna spill my guts to the person on the first date. If I ever dated a guy like Kevin, I think in the back of my mind, I would always be worried that he was being a player and going out with other girls behind my back. I'm not sure if maybe she couldn't see me because we were so close, but I stepped on her toes about 25 times, so I just figured I was gone. Shonda, good luck with the two losers you have. Your loss, my game. 
Peace. I changed clothes when I asked these guys to change clothes to meet me in front of Rehab Lounge. Hey guys, y'all look awesome. Thanks, you too, you look great. Thank you. <laughs> it was really funny, honestly, to uh, see them both walking down the street because we got one huge guy and then another that's just kind of dwarfed by him. Inside the club, we got some drinks and we sat down on this huge kind of chaise lounge and I just felt like I was in bed and felt a little naughty with these guys. So what did you think uh, earlier in the limo when I spanked you? <laughs> that was very entertaining. I've, I've never been spanked before. I've never been spanked before. Never? Have you ever spanked somebody before? I've never spanked anybody. Have you ever spanked or been spanked? Aside from when I was six, uh, yeah, there was, there was a period where I, I actually dated somebody that was um, really? like a fetish model. Yeah, and really? so she went to the extremes. They had electricity involved, and it was it was pretty crazy. <laughs> electricity. But, yeah, yeah. When Ryan said that he used to date a fetish model, I was really shocked because he doesn't seem like that type of guy. First impressions. How, I mean, obviously, you know, it's. I'm sure y'all had a first impression of me when you first saw me, and you've gotten to know me a little more. Now, um, my first impression of you, you know, well, just in general, you know, you're very, you've definitely held your own and that's why you're still here. You've, you know, you've been able to keep it up, keep up the banter and I find that really great. But um, I want to see a different side of you. Uh, Whatever. Just, uh, just show me a different side. I'm not, that's all I'm saying. Is that, is that what you had in mind? Or? That's very good. You know what? When she wanted to see a different side of Ryan, I truly didn't believe that he was going to go for the kiss. You know, it was nice to not just have to be the funny guy for a little while and try something else. And now you, Lance. You stole my idea, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> OK. Now uh, I've come to find out that there's definitely a softer, sweeter side to you. And that's why you're still here, because um, there's actually a person inside that. Um, so I want to see a different side of you. Well, you know what? His idea was a very good idea. Why not? <laughs> it's it's kind of lame to, to go with the exact same thing that I did. It was really nice, actually. He kisses really good. That was, that was very nice from both of y'all. Um, thank you. And, uh... No. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Will it be Lance or Ryan? Shauna's final cut is next. <laughs> hey guys, I had a really good time for this last round. Um, both of y'all are just so different. I mean, I really honestly felt like I was with David and Goliath. <laughs> but it was quite entertaining. So uh, here we go, the last round. I'm going to cut you, Lance. <laughs> Sorry. I just, you know, I really had a good time with both of you guys, but I just felt like um, in the last round, I just felt like I was, um, Ryan, I just felt like I saw another side of him, and he's just so complex. Ooh. I have no clue what this girl was thinking. David and Goliath, well, she chose David, and I realize it's a wee bit of a decision, but she's going to have a good time with old little man. When I first saw you, I didn't think you were my type, but getting to know you more, you have a great personality, and you're able to stand up mainly with wits against all these guys and hold your own, and I, that really impressed me about you. If she goes on a second date with old Ryan, she's going to realize that size, it does matter. Uh, taking a chance maybe on somebody that's kind of the underdog or kind of not the, uh, the slated winner, I think that's a great thing, and uh, I, I hope to not let you down. Sister, you've just made the biggest mistake of your life, and you're going to realize it if you ever go out with that little punk again.